How's it going guys? Lian here and welcome to another architectural video. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about tech pens. Huh, that's, that's not a tech pen. Let's, let's do that again. Tech pens. Still not a tech pen, but I think we're getting closer. Again, okay. Uh, it's pens, but they're not the tech pens that I'm talking about. One last time. So if this doesn't work, I'll, I'll just get the tech pens myself. Okay, good thing that worked because I'm too lazy to get the tech pens. That's just actually a few feet from me. Anyways, today we are going to be talking about tech pens. More specifically, how to avoid blotting when using tech pens. Roll the intro. Okay, so one of the major issues I had with the tech pens is that they were always blotting and you know spitting out ink. This is when your tech pen just decides to poop a ton of ink onto your plate and then the next thing you know it's like Squidward and his high school buddies had JS prom all over your plate. Ink everywhere because Squidward's a squid and you know the whole never mind moving on from that joke okay so over the course of my freshman year i often battled with the tech pens and the blotting issue so eventually i found out some tips and tricks to avoid blotting so that's what i'm gonna teach you today guys so before we solve the problem of blotting first we must know where the problem comes from okay so one of the causes of ink blotting is the capillary effect between your drafting tool and the piece of paper okay so basically what capillary effect is is the ability of water to flow in narrow spaces Okay, so when your drafting tool is laid flat on top of your blade, that causes a narrow space that the liquid would want to go into. So yeah, whenever your teacher asks why your plate has a ton of blocks, just tell them capillary effect and then just walk away slowly. Anyways, I'm going to teach you two techniques in order to avoid the dreaded capillary effect. <laughs> Make it sound like some sort of evil thingy. Anyways, tip number one. Okay, so for this tip, you guys are going to need a hole puncher, a mat board that is around a millimeter thick, some masking tape, and maybe your drafting tool. So here's what you do. You get your mat board and you punch a couple of holes or maybe four holes into the mat board. Now get the round punchy things that you got from punching the mat board. And then attach these round things onto a masking tape and cut the masking tape into the proper lengths. Okay, now what you do is you stick this round punchy things onto your drafting tool. So what this does is it acts as feet for your drafting tool, allowing your drafting tool to levitate from your plate. Okay, so what that does is it eliminates the capillary effect that I was discussing a while ago. Levitating drafting tool tip. Tip number two. Okay, so this tip is still to combat the capillary effect. So if your drafting tool has a bevel, like my drafting tool right here, what you do is you turn your drafting tool upside down so that the bevel is facing downwards onto your plate. So now there's like a huge space in between your drafting tool and your plate, giving the ink no more space to capillarize. Cap cap capillar cutter moving on. Okay, tip number three. So tip number three is pretty straightforward. More often than not, I find that the cause of blotting with my tech pens is that I haven't cleaned the tip of the tech pen. So there's like a bunch of fibers that gathered on the tip of the tech pen because of the tech pen scraping on top of your plate, dragging some of the paper fibers and then it accumulates on the tip of your tech pen. So the only thing you have to do is check every now and then, as often as possible, if the tip of your tech pen has fibers on it. This eliminates the chances of your pen blotting. Moving on to tip number four. All right, tip number four. So tip number four is another tip that I often forget when I'm drafting. So you know when you're drafting and then your tech pen just stops working so you just want to like shake it like so. Okay, so don't ever shake your tech pen towards your plate because you're gonna end up with a very, very bad time. What you do is you put the cover of the tech pen back and then just shake it like so. After you shake your tech pen, you begin drafting. Don't begin drafting. Just, just, just don't, okay? So what you do is you dab your tech pen on top of a scrap paper or you like write a couple of lines on top of the scrap paper because oftentimes when you shake your tech pen, there's like a blot of ink that's going to develop on the tip of your tech pen. So yeah, always check the tip after shaking it. That sounded very wrong. Moving on to tip number five. <laughs> So tip number five was never taught to me at drafting school. Maybe it was taught, but I wasn't listening. So listen to your teachers, guys, because they might be imparting important information and you might miss out on it. 
and eventually make a YouTube video embarrassing yourself. So, yeah. So this tip is the most important tip of all while drafting with drafting instruments. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. Always move your drafting tool away from the tech pen. I actually made a song for this. Always move the drafting tool away from the tech pen. If you're right-handed, move the drafting tool to the left. If you're left-handed, move the drafting tool to the right. That's how this song goes. I just invented that right now, so you're welcome. <laughs> that was so bad. What does this song mean and how come I suck at singing? Um, I could only answer the first question. So the meaning of this song is that whenever you are right-handed, always move your drafting tool towards the left. It means if there are things that you have to ink, always ink from the right to the left. If you're left-handed, move from the left to the right. This allows for the ink on the right side of the paper to dry as you are moving your drafting tool towards the left. Okay, so if you move the drafting tool towards the direction of the tech pen, what that does is the drafting tool will often run over undried tech pen ink and it'll cause a bunch of streaks and you know blotting and it's, it's a disaster. So just just sing the song that I sung a while ago. I already forgot the lyrics. Okay, so I guess that's the video guys. Those are my five tips and tricks. How to avoid blotting with tech pens. Okay, so I've seen a lot of you guys commenting this. So um, I realized that it wasn't just me that was having this blotting problem when I was in first year. Some of you guys also had this problem. So I decided to make this video. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Please like, leave a comment and subscribe down below for more videos like this from me, your boy Lian. And again, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video. Flying peace.